Hey, so hi, I'm Jordan from Drum Victoria. We connect people through rhythm, and I actually need to have another seven folks come up and join us here on stage. If you want to try drumming, come on up. Follow through here, grab a seat, and we're going to drum. Yeah, come on over. Don't hold back. It's a lot of stuff up here. And I've also uh, added some shakers around the room, too. So if you've got a shaker, you can grab it. Hold it like an apple, not by the handle. And we got, I think we have two more spots for drummers. Drummers, drummers, we can't start until all chairs are filled. One, two more spots. There's another drummer. And we need one more, just one more drummer. Drummer, drummer, drummer. It could be a newbie drummer, never drummed before, but we do need one more, sp two more spots filled. Yes, there's one more and one more, okay. All right, so now once we've got everybody assembled, we can actually start the official timer. And uh, shaker player is just gonna show you, hold like this, you can shake like this or like that, okay. Here we go. You're gonna grab your drums, bring them close to you, tilt them to face your, the room, good, that way. We're gonna make a triangle with our hands. Are you I'm started, I'm ready to roll, yeah. Lay your hands down on the drum. Make sure it's tilted the other way so it's facing out. Yeah, this looks good, good, yeah. Slide back to the edge. And now lift your hand high enough to wave. Good. Other side. And now with no sound, we're gonna air drum. The important thing about air drumming is that you look good. So smiling, take a look at your neighbors. Okay, can you move your head? All right, now we're gonna play. I'm gonna play first, you guys are gonna echo me. And now here we go. Everybody! All right, drummers, it was short but sweet. Hug your drum, and we're going to just walk them off stage so we can get the next uh, flash presentation up here. Thank you, Jordan. Drum Victoria. Woo! Way to get things started. All right. All right, everyone, I, are you guys ready to try one more time? Heck yes. yes! Okay, welcome to the mic, Kate Fleming from uh, Victoria Community Microlighting. Heck yes! Okay, go. Hi, everyone, my name is Kate Fleming, and I'm the director of Victoria Community Microlighting Society. We are Canada's first peer-to-peer -peer microlighting institution. What the heck does that mean? So, Heather here is a budding entrepreneur in our community and Heather is looking to start Made in Victoria. I am a community member with a bit of savings and I would like to see that go back into the local economy. So very simply, I am going to lend money to Heather. Thanks, Kate. You're welcome, Heather. <laughs> and on a monthly basis, Heather is going to pay back the loan. Now this ha all happens online, so it's very simple. Two ways, three ways that you can help us out and help the organization is to, one, sign up for a newsletter, head to our little booth over there, put down your name. Uh, number two, head to our website, which is www.communitymicrolending.ca. And number three, come to our fifth annual birthday party on November 25th at the Atrium Building. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Kate. Everybody, welcome to the stage. Jeremy Osborne, Growing the Victoria Collaborative Economy. Heck, yes. Hi, everybody. My name is Jeremy. Uh, I guess clock's ticking. Um, we, me and some other people uh, in Victoria about a month ago started uh, a local chapter of a global collaborative economy group called WeShare. 
Uh, I've heard it described as uh, uh, a, a local face to a global movement. Uh, we share was uh, founded out of Paris, and now it has uh, local chapters all over the world. And it, it's just a really inclusive, decentralized global network of people who are interested in growing the collaborative economy in their local communities. Uh, so we had our first meetup about a month ago, and uh, it re went really well. Uh, we're going to have another one uh, likely at the art gallery sometime uh, around the end of November or early December. Uh, we're also talking about uh, hosting a, a repair cafe at some, some point where we can bring our stuff and learn how to fix it. So if you are interested, we're just getting going. We're trying to figure out who we are. So if you're interested, check out We Share BC on Facebook and uh, join the group and you can join the conversation. Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. Next to the stage, I'd like to welcome Sean Fox of the Universal Alliance. Heck yes! We are one. And it's from this place of remembrance that we work in the world, living our livelihoods as labors of love from our heart. We are the Universal Alliance, an open source spiritual collective seeking unity, peace, and freedom in every facet of collective human endeavor. So from this point of collective intention, we work in the world to bring awareness of our interconnected nature, responsibility for ourselves and the collective in our presence here on Earth, as well as gratitude for the enormous, incredible abundance of life. So part of sustainability is sharing this abundance. So we're working to create open source resources and networks to share for individuals, communities, organizations, and businesses so we can align ourselves harmoniously through the industries of life to bring even more goodness. So next we have Sierra Dahlquist here to tell you a little more about the industries. Don't I get a heck dance? <laughs> Um, I'm Sierra, I'm one of the co-founders of Unity Foods, and actually recognize a lot of people who come to our shop days in the audience here. Um, what is Unity Foods? It's a uh, way that we are using, um, we're leveraging the power of community to um, bring wholesale prices accessibly and easily into our lives and our friends' lives in living rooms um, by setting them up like stores and having a little shop day party. And it's all organic, and it's all cheaper than non-organic at the grocery store, so it's pretty fabulous. We also have pre-order opportunities where people can um, like look at my poster back there later and take a picture of it on your phone so that you can have our email address and our Facebook information so that you can get in contact with us and get on our pre-order list so that you can order organic food at super cheap prices and either get it delivered to your house by us or come pick it up or come to one of our shop days, which are the funnest thing ever, um, and we also do events like we're doing um, this week. So, Tuesday. Thank you, Sierra. I am a proud one of the original members of Unity Foods, and I can attest to it being totally awesome to be part of that. So, thank you. Um, please welcome to the stage Mandy Leith, Open Cinema, Connect the Dots. Heck yes! Hi there, my name is Mandy Leith and I'm the founder and director of Open Cinema. I'm also the CEO and founder of Connect the Docs. So I have a dream to use documentary to build community. How many of you watch documentaries? <laughs> yes indeed, the demand for documentaries is growing but the marketplace is fragmented, cinemas are struggling and online screenings do not take advantage of documentaries unique community building potential. Until now, Connect the Docs is an online interactive hub that will essentially allow s uh, filmmakers and audiences and cinemas and social justice issues to connect via multi-city screenings, live-streamed post-screening discussions, social media engagement, and uh, video on demand. So we are a early stage tech startup and we're looking for investors, for advertisers, for advisors, and for developers. I'm at the back, I'd love to talk to you. Power to the people, connect the docs. Thank you.
All right, thanks, Mandy. Please welcome to the stage Noah McCourt, Permaculture Society of Canada. Heck yes! Hello. Uh, today we have the know-how, the technology, and the feasibility to build an entirely new civilization. There are now over one million organizations in the world working towards social and environmental justice, comprising the largest social movement in the history of humankind. This movement, when connected electronically, could become a network of networks that will be the most powerful force for change ever. Permaculturesociety.org has been designed to be that network. Join us today and make the new economy one person smarter and one person stronger. Thank you. Thank you, Noah. Uh, please welcome Julian Gudgerly, Temple Mind Studio. Heck yes! Hey everyone, um, it's actually Julian Guderly, but not, not that it matters today, it's all good. Um, I'm here to talk about Templed Mind Studio for 60 seconds. And Templed Mind is a studio space, we call it an urban retreat space actually. The intention of the space is that people fully arrive in presence. So maybe the room can partake in a little experiment right now and instead of listening to me 60 seconds, just take two or three really deep breaths and arrive in this space. And time tends to go so much slower when we do that. Because um, <laughs> there still are 30 seconds. Um, Templed Mind Studio is a space that offers daily classes in the field of yoga, art, and nutrition. I see a couple of people in here that actually teach there, which is so cool. And I'm just really happy to be on that path where we see ourselves and others evolve every day. So yeah, take another breath because we still have two seconds. Thanks, Julian. Julian and I have actually known each other for a long time, but I realized I've never said your last name. So I'm sorry I messed it up so badly. <laughs> um, please welcome to the stage Nelson Geddes, uh, Integrated Smart Community Operating System. Let's hear it. Yes. Heck yes! Hi, I'm Nelson. I'm an Universal Interaction Scientist, Designer, and Consultant. I design universally integrated systems and help organizations integrate their own systems. I'm currently working on an integrated smart community opera operating system. This is a pen. It is clear to us that this is a pen, but the atoms in this pen don't understand that they exist within the pen. They are not aware of the existence of the pen, let alone how it works. We are like the atoms of, uh, in this pen, not fully aware of our relationship with our organizations and the planet as a whole. My work is to help the atoms become more aware of the, pan, uh, of the pen and work together to improve it. I'm currently looking for programmers, partners, and customers. If my work sounds interesting to you, please come to see me or contact me on my website at openoffproject.org. Thank you. Thank you, Nelson. Uh, please welcome to the stage Deb Morse, Green Muse Media. Heck yes! Hello everyone. It's so inspiring to be here today and to hear all these stories. Uh, I work with a small PR firm called Yes Media and I tell people's stories on broadcast media and print media locally, nationally and internationally. And recently a gift dropped into my lap. It's a website called greenmuse.com it's been in hi 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 hiatus for a while, and the owner of the website came to me and said I, she was no longer continuing with it, and she'd like me to take it on. So I'm looking to tell people's stories to a local and global audience. When this website was really going strong, articles were picked up by The Guardian and other mainstream media. So if you have a story to tell, Stories that are rooted in local communities and perspectives, I want to talk to you. Uh, today, I am on the table at Elkington Forest, so drop by. <laughs> Thanks, Deb. And finally, to conclude our first series of flash presentations, please welcome to the stage Heather Parker, City Harvest Working Farm Cooperative. So 
this time last year, um, my dilemma was this as an urban farmer. Should we grow expensive urban farmed organic produce to pay our members a living wage, or somehow should we altruistically grow affordable food for the most people possible? So after a year of examining our farm, farm co-op, we've come up with a new economy answer, which is do both. So our new multi-stakeholder co-op model is going to be a hub for revenue from restaurant sales, our sliding scale CSA, um, our community farm experience program, and a working relationship with a community kitchen, which is focused on food distribution, food literacy, and the opportunity to pay skilled young farmers a good part-time wage. So now, volunteers, CSA customers, landowners, and our farm workers can co-own the food and the means to produce it within our micro region, which happens to be near Jubilee Hospital. Best for last, we keep it hyper-local but reproducible. Vision for Growth is a balanced, self-contained food production hub in multiple micro regions around the city. So come talk to me if you want to find out how this is going to work. Thank you, Heather. Well, that concludes our first series. Are you guys feeling like super vibrating, high, and excited? Oh, yeah. <laughs>